Eddie White here for Pacers.com. For all these months, the Indiana Pacers and our friends at Cargo Services have traveled all over the state of Indiana. Over 50 schools, over 6,000 children have been touched with this Pacers Reading Timeout program. Today is the final stop here at Super School, number 19 in Indianapolis. Check it out. Pacers do so much in the community. Ranking at the top has to be this program. Yes, this program is one of our staples of programs. We've been doing this for 14, 15 years, and um, you know we're touching schools all the time, giving back, and, and just to let kids and, and students and teachers and uh, all the people that we work with just understand how important it is to understand the good reading, what it's all about, but also to find your love of reading. And that's the one thing about our program is that we get to make reading fun for the kids. You know, a lot of companies just put their name on something as a marketing tool and step back. You guys, from Steve Fugate on down, are always there. Every one of these reading timeouts, today we're at the Super School 19. There's someone here. You're here today. Your, your company has really embraced this program. Um, it's very important for us. We feel very strongly um, about children and teaching them to read and the importance of that and their future success in life. So we feel very privileged to be able to help out. The Pacers always give back in the community, so many things, but this effort, going around the state, teaching youngsters how to read, it's special. That's why you're here. That's exactly why I'm here. So look, there's nothing more important than literacy. So I'm excited to be invited uh, to read to the kids and get kids excited for summer reading too. What's it like to have Boomer and his friends come in here and try to help these kids read? Oh, it's amazing. It's always fun to have celebrities come and um, talk to the kids about reading because it's good. Uh, everybody knows how important celebrities are and they all know about the Pacers and the Colts and to have Boomer and come in and talk to them and have, show them the importance of reading and being a good reader and how far it's going to take them in life. It's really going to make a difference for the rest of their lives if they can be a good reader. You've been doing this a long time. Why this program? Well, I've, I've been with uh, Pacers and Sports and Entertainment for a long time and this was an opportunity for me to do more than what I normally do. Um, it allows me to interact with other people other than uh, just the basketball fans. There's a lot of things the Pacers do in the community. Touching kids and getting them to read has to rank at the top. Absolutely. Anytime you can read, you can go anywhere you want in the world. What do you get out of being here with the kids? I get a, a lot of enjoyment uh, dealing with the kids. The kids, the interaction between us and the kids is just uh, beyond reproach. This is a good atmosphere, uh, very friendly. Uh, the kids are very excited when they see us uh, when they, when they when we read to them. Their enthusiasm just feeds my own, uh, which makes it just that much better of a program. So many problems in the world, we can't solve them all, but one of them is getting the right education for the right kids and getting them started. This is so important. Oh yeah, so a good start in literacy. Uh, we'll take them through their careers. Um, and, and I always profess that a reader is not a reader who can read, it's a reader who does read. So there you have it, over 6,000 of the children in Indiana, over 50 schools, the last regular season visit for the Pacers reading timeout and our friends from Cargo Services. But if you missed it during the regular season, go to Pacers.com. The summer tour with the Indianapolis Public Libraries and Cargo Services is starting up soon. Check it all out at Pacers.com.